Dear Arashi, I'm writing this letter a day, a day after the launch of our project, the Salamat Arashi project. Since we're already on the topic, I want to share the most difficult part of the project for me. It was the time limit. 15 seconds. We have all these feelings, but we had to put everything in 15 seconds. Thanks to that limitation, I was made aware of what the fans want to tell you. Thank you and see you again. And that's the same message that I want to convey in my letter. Thank you, Arashi, because you've been with me half of my life. I learned a lot of things from you, from your songs, and from your experiences. Thank you because through your songs, I was able to face myself. That even if I feel that I'm not good enough, I am. You're the first people that made me feel that it's okay to not be okay. We're humans. We have flaws. We fail sometimes. And that's okay. Because we can always try again tomorrow. Thank you for being an inspiration. Whenever I feel that my pace is slower than the others, I think about my, your humble beginnings. How 20 years ago you weren't in the place that you wanted to be too. But you still worked hard. You worked hard with what's in front of you. You didn't take anything for granted. And now here you are. One of the most successful, if not the most successful J-pop idol group. And I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you for teaching me the value of the present. And the value of facing it head on. Thank you for making me feel that I'm not alone. <laughs> for calming the voices in my head. Thank you. Thank you, Arashi. Because of you, I was able to meet wonderful people and longtime friends. I haven't seen all in person, but whenever I talk to them and their love for you, it feels as if you're with me too. Their warmth reminds me of your warmth. You are really loved, Arashi. You touched the lives of many people. Thank you. Thank you for the things that you've done for the overseas fans this year. You really reached out your hands to us. And the Salamat Arashi project was our way of holding those hands back as tightly as we could. To make you feel that we really appreciate the things that you've done for us. To make us feel connected even if we're far apart. One year ago, I felt like I can't dream again. After seeing one of my dreams fall apart right in front of me. Dreaming became something impossible for me. But this December, after seeing how the project turned out and how you, Arashi, worked hard, despite every of your plans, despite your plans this year falling apart, and seeing how you stood on your feet together to put something beautiful from all the broken pieces of your plans. I felt like if you were able to do it, maybe I can do it too. I can, I can dream again 
thanks to you Arashi thank you Arashi as much as it scares me that my constant source of happiness from the past 13 years won't be here anymore but now more than my feelings I just want all of you to be happy during the hiatus I want you all to find the happiest versions of yourselves please and in return I will promise you that I will work hard harder to be happy too I will find the ha happiest version of myself too so that when the time comes and we'll meet again we'll be able to share our happiness in one venue with all of you together on the stage and me shouting your name Arashi this isn't goodbye because we'll see each other again someday <laughs> from Isa <laughs> well <laughs>